Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken from a long video that I just finished to record for my subscribers. I'm leaving the option for my services at 50% off for the first year open and I'll be providing further details after the clip ends. So if you're interested, please stay on. I'll be talking to you again at the end of the uh, clip. I would like you also to read carefully the disclaimer that I'm going to put up now so that uh, it is clear to you before you uh, go ahead and watch the video. This is uh, just a standard thing. Uh, this is a uh, Sal gold and silver sector index daily. My idea that this is a 1212 is still alive, believe it or not, despite this huge gap here. Uh, it is possibly done in terms of this ABC, or there might be further pressure here. It is sitting on the 50 moving average. Do you see that? Right here, that's where it ended. Uh, this decline, uh, markets love to close gaps, so yeah. This is first attraction to come back up and close this gap. Um, if we are indeed in a 1212, uh, the message is going to be loud and clear fairly soon. I'll be straight up in a blast through that. And that'll be fantastic, of course, for our PM investors. Or we might go through a few more uh, swings here in the shape of a 1212 like that. Okay. Now, any further decline, especially crushing through the 50, moving average going down to close this gap, um, would leave only one choice, only one choice that I don't think is very likely, but that will still be a choice that we will have to consider that the second wave on this scale is extending, okay? Um, but um, if that happens, uh, the 130 level must, must hold that breaks then something else is going on big scale and I'll have to review the entire analysis. But right now, trend is up. Trend is up, corrections are normal. Uh, it is battling this uh, on the weekly, this uh, down sloping line, very powerful line. Already had, uh, we have seen it coming close to the vicinity of this one. It got knocked down. It's the second time it got knocked down. We had it here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that is obviously a very, very important obstacle. If we do manage to climb all the way back to above 172 in the next, let's say, three months, uh, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That that will strongly confirm that we are in unstoppable rally. Okay, so that's Xiao on the weekly. Here's a GUI, and the idea that this is a 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C. You see, I had this. I told you I think it's going to come down. It already delivered a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am not giving up on the bull here. It's not because I'm obstinate or uh, I just think it makes sense for now. For now, it makes sense. Why dump it? Why dump it? It's, it's, it seems like a viable option. We have a 1, 2. That's another one. That could be a 2 coming close to an end. We might have a bit more pressure here. Um, and that's it. If we come back, we rally in two weeks. We are there. We got our answer. We got our answer. It's going to go in a spectacular move to the upside. Now, here's gold. That is a 60 minutes. 60 minutes of spot gold. And I think we have a nice pattern to work with. Uh, I am working with this being one. That's an A. I think the C uh, extended here a bit. Sorry. Sorry. Just one sec. Give me this one to to move it a bit so I think we have an ABC behind us here uh, and that gave us the B okay that gave us the B uh, and what we did coming down is uh, is the C now I'm not sure the C is done so uh, definitely the door is open for it to swing down one more time okay and that could be it um, and if we have the whole thing done 
uh, next week or next few days yeah uh, trading days it'll start climbing and climbing as, as you know the Fed is going to make some important announcement uh, on the 31st and that could play into the hands of the precious metals investors uh, with this playing out as one that's the daily now that's to coming back third wave super now we are not going to have to wait months for that for for uh, an answer whether this is really an ABC second wave or not because all it takes uh, to have that answer would be a jump above this level but if it is weak and it breaks down there then no forget it this is not an ABC uh, that second wave that would lead us a lot higher this is something else we'll have to review uh, the wave count I don't think this is a major top in gold but uh, if it does break lower it will simply mean uh, in my opinion that we are going for extended correction that might last several months now here's the chart of silver that's the weekly of spot silver and I think the best bet that I would work with right now fourth wave major fourth wave ended here we have one I think it's coming close to the end of two okay there are a few options here as you can see uh, how to divide this price action uh, this is looking very much like a classic C yeah big break big break panic but when you look at uh, at uh, ratios and to the extent of the run that this correction is relating to it's perfectly normal Here's the 50% retracement didn't even reach it it could even go down to the 0.618 uh, I was thinking that it's going to hit 26 um, we're still above 27 we're at 2776 it closed uh, I think there could be another deep coming uh, and thereafter the moment of truth uh, we see it going back to the previous record right here um, that's going to be fabulous third wave okay fabulous third wave um, I have not given up on silver um, I think that there is there is definitely a strong argument for the bullish case here and you will see later on how this turn of events if we do have an ABC that is going to swing up here how that's going to tie in with other metals uh, such as uh, uranium I'll show you later uh, and uh, don't forget what is likely transpiring in uh, in the case of uh, the DX the US dollar um, not really very good signs there uh, for the bulls uh, on the US dollar so okay this is the daily uh, so we have an A or A that's not in the game anymore sorry take it out uh, I think that's A B see could I be wrong sure could it plunge just crash completely yes is that quite likely not really not at this point why would I become so bearish it hasn't really gone through major major support levels uh, hasn't crashed through didn't give us a weekly close under major support levels so I, I think what I see here could could be uh, interpreted as a perfectly normal perfectly normal correction okay uh, if you don't allow the market to correct in a normal way meaning you, it puts you on edge you you you, uh, you can't tolerate it uh, that's not good that's not good you you have to flow with the uh, swings whether they're up and down if you have the right context how to look at things um, just take it easy uh, here we go one two one two three four five three four that could be the fifth is that over I don't know I think I will suspect it's over if we do flip above this level we stabilize here the road will open possibly fairly quickly for silver to come back if I'm wrong uh, obviously weakness uh, will not uh, uh, will not allow it to perform like that and we we will see the signs of weakness right now I do not subscribe to the bears to the bearish camp okay I do not despite this big uh, drop I, I don't subscribe to the bearish camp I look at gold gold is reasonably strong 
uh, again, corrections are part of the process of uh, going higher. Now, when do I start giving up? Well, do you see the, the supporting on the weekly at around 26, 25 and a half? Uh, if we see in the next week or two that it crashes through that and it sort of goes there sideways like that and uh, gold crashes down and it tells you no that one two idea that you had is not going to work uh, then this is discouraging for the bulls yeah I think it will mean further decline home page is right here it's uh, wave mastery www at wave mastery dot com yeah point uh, wave mastery in one word dot com that takes you to the home page you can uh, scroll down, look through some things that I've written here, some recommendations from past users and current users. And that is essentially the offer currently open uh, only to first time subscribers. OK, so there is the daily service, uh, daily videos that are preceded by trial. So you can take the trial for uh, one week. And at the end of that, if you're happy, you do nothing, you go on to the plan of um, half price, essentially 79 presents half price of the normal price, and that will be good for one year. That means uh, 12 um, payments of 79. Uh, if you want to watch just the weekend videos, then you go for this one, and uh, it does give you access to um, the weekend videos, and uh, I often also insert a video as a bonus uh, midweek just to keep you on track to see a little bit, uh, you know, where things are moving because sometimes one week of full price action is a lot and the wave count can change, especially if you're a short term trader and you really want to know uh, what's happening. So that is essentially the situation. If you decide to go, for example, for the daily videos, you uh, click here, it takes you to the page where it explains to you, you should read that. It explains to you what, um, what is covered, etc., etc. If you like what you read, you click here, subscribe. It takes you to uh, PayPal uh, because of my uh, paying system is through PayPal. And um, you pay through PayPal. You can see you have the trial at $9.99. That's uh, for the first seven days. As I said, if you like what you see, do nothing. It just, it just goes automatically. If you don't like, you can cancel. Or if you don't know how to cancel or you have any doubt, you have any question, you can write to me, of course. Uh, once you go through and you pay, you come back, uh, PayPal will send you back to my website uh, to um, fill in your um, profile details, uh, choose your login. And uh, once you do that, you will be led uh, automatically to the page with... Uh, with the links to the various videos classified by date. If at any point in time in this process you have a problem, things are not going uh, as I'm describing to you right now, all you have to do is just contact me and I'll help you out. Um, that is essentially it. So um, you have one week to look at things. I would like to just spend a minute uh, about the website itself. I have written here a few articles. Uh, is this website for me? You can go through that one. Psychology and trading, trading and the arts. Why join? Yes, each of these articles uh, could uh, perhaps uh, help you to to see um, how to relate to my website. But there is no substitute, in my opinion, to actually take a trial. You know, you take a trial, and I want to say another thing. You take a trial, and you can't make up your mind. You want more time to think. Fine, I understand that. Then you cancel, but then you are not allowed to take another trial. Please, I want to be very clear about that. There are people who abuse this, and it's really um, not right. Uh, you're not allowed to take more than one trial, okay? A trial is a trial. But if you're interested, after you take a trial, you're interested to come back, you can still benefit from the low price for the next full year. But you have to write to me, and then I will send you a special link without a trial, and, and, and if you join then, you're going to go immediately onto the reduced price plan for 12 months. Okay. Uh, if you take another trial after you took already one, I am going to have to cancel that and refund you 
And if you do that two, three times, I'm just going to blacklist you because there are people who have been doing it and I'm afraid this is really absolutely not right. Um, this is subscribe here. Uh, use subscription. Once you are, uh, once you are logged in, you will see this one highlighting you, uh, uh, daily service videos or weekend service videos. Yeah. It will show which one you really, um, um, have the right to, to access the daily service videos to be very clear. They cover the weekend service videos. Okay. So you don't have to subscribe to both. The daily covers everything I do. The weekend of course is more selective. Now I have here resources. There are chart galleries right here. Uh, chart one, two, three. There are plenty, plenty of chart, uh, charts here that give you uh, an idea how I go about, uh, uh, subdividing uh, various uh, market action here there I covered a lot a lot of markets and you can see there is history here that could be very interesting for you to just go through let's see platinum for example yes that's 1973 to 1978 if you click right on top where it shows you the hand the chart opens up big you can print it if you like um, here's an example of platinum April um, uh, 1980 uh one two three four five and then the huge correction that followed after that uh, so they, there is plenty for you whichever market you're interested uh interested in the financials the commodities precious metals etc uh okay so that chart galleries then useful links as it as the name implies yes recommended reading list you have uh, a long list of uh books here that i've read over the years that I found very interesting. Of course, I have many more books that uh, I would like to add. It's just a question of time. I don't always have time to update this one. But the books that you find here uh, did help me in the beginning. And still, uh, the information here is very valuable in this book. For example, Crawl. I don't know how many of you heard about Stanley Crawl. Stanley Crawl was um, a really imaginative fellow trader uh, that wrote... Um, wrote very well about his own trading and in trading in general i learned a lot from uh, from these books and of course uh, if you haven't heard about uh, reminiscence of a stock operator you should uh, get this book and read it uh, you will not regret uh, this is uh, uh, a book that um, most traders i think uh, have come across and read it is very very interesting and uh, as you go down the list, you will see if there are things that are of interest to you. Uh, of course, uh, go ahead, get them. Some of them are in, even available online for free as a PDF. Uh, check that. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can even uh, contact me. Here's the contact us. And you uh, put your name. Please make sure you give me the right email address. Message, simple maths, submit. I get it you'll hear from me. I'm based in Belgium. So if you write to me from Australia or from the US and I'm having uh, my rest, do not be surprised if I don't react quickly, okay? Uh, normally within uh, within a day, you will have a reply from me. I, I check my email uh, uh, fairly regularly. So that's about it. Hope to see you visiting my website. Hope to see you taking a trial. Um, if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Get in touch with me and uh, wishing you a great trading week. Bye now.